With Yule, they added the reindeer pet. So let's take a look at it. Tier 1 ear, you can see the strength and vit. That's a good stat blend for most melees. But as you can see by the skill, it's a tank skill. So why do we have the strength on it? Really? Couldn't it be defense, armor, or maybe even more of it instead? I guess they did to keep traditions with phoenixes and seedlings and even dragons with having the certain amount of stat points, but still, I wish there could have been some kind of change there. Fortitude and willpower? It makes sense, kind of. Fortitude for dodging physical attacks, willpower for dodging weakening attacks that could make you take more physical damage. It's alright, but Scholar? That's weird. Instead of having, say, resist everything like a phoenix, it's something pretty useless like Scholar. I guess they did because Yule Food gave Scholar before? I don't like it though. We'll talk more about the skill later, but these pets need magical bells, which you can get from chests just like any other thing. It's been implied that reindeers are a limited time thing and they're going to be removed after Yule. Do we know for sure? No. But they have done it in the past like Hellsteeds. So, I believe them. And of course there's different upgrades for these with varying stats all increasing all the way up to this with 1500 scholar it's a lot of scholar but as we learn from critical hits it's not going to give you much of a chance in the end I guess it still stacks good with xp but it's not a dps pet so you lose an xp from that so it's kind of questionable I already did it, but the pet training ability for reindeer is the greatest quest in the history of the game. You ask about it, and it's just like, oh, it's about the spirit of giving, and you get the ability. I wish everything could be that easy. It was pretty nice. But you know what? We don't have to talk about any uh, hypothetical things here, because I actually have a reindeer. And if you look at the design... It's pretty neat, but did you know the community actually had some say on this? Yeah, the admins gave us a choice between three different reindeer designs, A, B, and C, as you see here. And they're all pretty nice, but C is definitely better, and C won by a landslide, so thank you to the people who voted. Now let's feed this thing, run around with it. Tier 2 is pretty small. I guess a tier 6 would be ginormous. Because this is pretty big for a tier 2. When it runs, it kind of rams ahead. Pretty neat. Little sparkles on the antlers. Little bushy tail thingy. We can go into the abilities page, and you can see it actually most of these abilities got fixed with this event. Except acts as a staff, but ignoring that. Reindeer ability looks nice, has this little weird thingy here though, and I maxed it out. And let me tell you, that took forever. But I did it for you guys. You wanted to know how good a reindeer was. It was worth it. So here's what a tier 2 reindeer does at 600 ability. 42 health? 42. No, that part of the description's just bugged. Don't worry about that. But absorbing 207 damage for the next 10 seconds. So keep in mind that 207. We use the ability and we get healed 144. So it's 144 health plus 207 shield. So that's a little bit over 350 at tier 2. Now let me put something in the perspective here. A tier 2 silver bear is only 270. 
So it's a little bit better than the bear. And the fact that you can use it with the bear gives you a lot of tankability. But even though the skill's good and the heal can even critical sometimes, look at the cooldown on this thing. As you can see, the cooldown is very long for a pet. It's an entire 45 seconds. To put things into perspective, a dragon is 15 seconds, a phoenix is 25 seconds. I don't know what anything else is, and a bear is 45 seconds. So I guess they tried to keep in line with a bear, but some healing things like a rabbit or a pig or a chicken have faster cooldowns, so I'm not sure how they compare because I don't have a tier 2 of any of those. So, there's a small chance that it could be outdone by them, but definitely not in the stat part. And I'm sorry I don't have the pet tokens to check that out, but I'm pretty certain a reindeer's probably better. Can't say for sure. All in all, it's a decent pet, but it'll probably be very hard to sell the bells compared to the other three premium pets, because it's purely for tanking. Even a phoenix is better for DPS. So you might see a little fall in prices, but at least you have the limited factor to keep it up and the fact that tanks will probably kill you for it. I actually bought three extra bells on top of this and sold them all to one guy. So if the market's out there, it's just limited. Now, for leveling, Probably not good, because it's not DPS. Bossing, not good unless you're a tank. PvP, though, that's a tricky one. And, uh, so we got the 300 and something, 350 something total net health. But on a Phoenix, we have 145 poison, negative 67 armor. So this Phoenix will definitely improve our DPS by a lot. Depending on the enemy, but that damage ain't gonna hit for the full amount. So it's kind of a toss up. The extra energy is nice on a Phoenix if you need it, but I would say a reindeer is better for a lot of situations. Because even though the cooldowns are long, the duels are fast, and you'll have that cooldown ready for your duel. There's only one small problem with it. The fact that the reindeer has a heal and a shield, you have to be hurt to make the most of that skill, or else you're only getting the shield part of it. So you gotta fit that in your build, time it right. Definitely not use it when you're full health unless you know, you're just owning the fight the whole entire time. And you can even do some cool tricks with the reindeer and bear. Let me show you a little concept of mine when this reindeer finishes charging, or at least mostly. So here's pretty much what you can do. Ready? So you cast the shield wall. Four, three, two, cast the bear. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to cast the reindeer. Nine, eight, do, do, do. Cast shield wall. So five plus ten plus ten plus five is a maximum of thirty seconds of shielding. Granted, the reindeer and the bear don't have that much of a shield, but they might at higher levels. The reindeer scaled up a lot from tier 1 to tier 2, so I'd assume a tier 6 is a really heavy shield and heal. Anyway, that's just a little overview on the little reindeer. It definitely doesn't match a health steed, but uh, it's an alright pet. Just not for DPS, but survivability is a pretty nice thing. And I hope there's more tank pets in the future, because most of them lean towards DPS. Or maybe we can have some more support pets. Who knows? One thing's for sure, I like seeing these new types of unique pets.
makes the game a lot better to have more choices.